Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these four waters. These are White Claw brand hard seltzer spiked sparkling waters. So it's kind of debatable whether or not these are really waters or not. So I am going to start off the video by just drinking regular standard water. So nobody argues whether or not this is a real John Drinks Water episode. So here we go. Okay, so like I said, these are spiked waters. They each have 5% alcohol by volume. So I'm gonna be drinking a lot during this video, I guess. Um, and these are also flavored, so that makes it even more debatable whether or not they're really water. These are also sparkling, which makes it more debatable whether these are really waters or not. And these also have calories in them. The small ones have 100 calories. These big ones have 170 calories in them. So with all that stuff, the calories, flavor, sparkling, the alcohol, <laughs> is it still a water? <laughs> like what is it? What, what makes a water a water? What do you guys think? Leave a comment if you think these are waters or not. Um, the reason I'm reviewing these is because at the bottom of the can, it says it's a water. It says it's a spiked sparkling water. So anyway, these are all from the same company, White Claw. The White Claw is named after a wave. It's like a white wave. That's where their logo comes from. There's four flavors. Mango, Ruby Grapefruit, Black Cherry, and Raspberry. They also have a fifth flavor, Lime, but the beer distributor where I bought these from didn't have it, so I didn't get it. I also have this other one. This one, Smirnoff Pina Colada Spiked Sparkling Seltzer, uh, which I'm not going to be reviewing, but I just want to point out that I bought this. Um, like, I took these up, when I was at the beer distributor, I took these up to the register. And I was like, hey, as I was paying, I was like, hey, do you have any more uh, spiked waters? And he, he ran over to some counter, and he's like, yeah, we got this one. And um, brought it to the counter, and I paid for it without really looking at it much. It doesn't say it's a water on it, though. It just says it's a seltzer. Um, so I'm not going to review it because it doesn't say it's a water. But um, I'm kind of stuck with this. Wasted money on that without being able to review it. <clears throat> so these are kind of expensive for, you know, my standard water comparisons. Uh, a six-pack of the small ones was $11.50. You know, I had to buy the small ones in a six-pack. So all this stuff, and, and these big ones, and this other big one, it was, you know, with tax and everything, it's close to like 40 bucks for this water comparison video. There's a little more than I'm used to spending, but whatever. These have the uh, colored tabs on them, so you can tell, you know, if you buy a bunch of them and you stick them in your fridge, it's easier to tell which flavor is which. So we got a lot of drink, so I'm just going to start opening them up and drinking them. Um... Here we go. Let's start off with mango. I can smell it. it smells like mango. Um, it says it uses natural flavors. So I think if it was more artificial flavors, I think you wouldn't have as strong of a smell to it. So before doing this review, I tasted one of them. I tasted one mango can. It's actually pretty good. Um, for an alcohol. Like, I don't drink much at all, but as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to alcoholic drinks, the less flavor, the better. I just, I don't like the taste of beer. I, I hardly ever drink beer, or just alcohol in general. Maybe a couple times a year, uh, but this is a rare occurrence for me. So these are 5% alcohol by volume. It's pretty standard for beer. It's not high or low. Like a Budweiser would be about 5% too, I think. Don't quote me on anything I say about beer, because I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to beer. Here's the Ruby Grapefruit. Tastes a little grapefruit. You know how strong the smell is the mango? So I'm kind of like a weird situation. Like, I'm a really big dude. I'm really heavy, really overweight. So it should take me a lot of alcohol to get drunk. 
But I think I have a really low tolerance, though, because I hardly ever drink. Like, hardly ever. I, I've probably been drunk... I don't know, five times in my life, maybe. Here is the Black Cherry. <sighs> I'm hoping this one does not win. Because if it wins, it's going to go into round two. And Black Cherry is the only one I don't have a backup of. So if this wins, I'm going to have to go back to that store and buy another one for round two. But unfortunately... <laughs> If you look at my past reviews of sparkling waters, I tend to actually like the black cherry. So I don't know what I was thinking by buying multiples of all these, but only one of these. It smells like kind of coconutty. <clears throat> Excuse me in advance. I'm going to burp a lot during this video, I'm sure. So it's so much carbonated drinking. Kind of like leaving like a sugary coating on my teeth with this one. It's good though. I'm a little curious if this is clear or dark. Through the label, you know, it's a darker color. Oh, not that dark. I, I don't know. I'm not really surprised, I guess, but. So this is um, making it seem a little little bit more like an actual water, because it's not like colored. This actually tastes a lot like the um, the Aldi flavored sparkling water. Like I'm not really tasting much alcohol in this, which is a good thing. <laughs> Here's the raspberry. Smells like candy. I think I'm gonna like a candy store or something. Like it's like a really strong sugary candy smell. So for me, whenever I drink alcohol, I tend to like warm up. You know, like my head tends to feel warm. And um usually I need to pee really hard right away. I don't have that peeing feeling now. But um, my head is getting a little warm. It's raspberry. I'm looking at my notes. I'm already pretty much out of stuff to uh, tell you guys about. Um, <coughs> uh, says it's crafted. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. It says it's crafted using their unique brew uh, brew pure process with only the finest natural flavors. And I am officially done with my notes. I have nothing else to say. So I guess the rest is just me drinking the, uh, the water, beer, waters. This is kind of tough. There's like not like a clear winner um i saw a, a youtube video of somebody else reviewing this they did white claw verse truly here these people and um they said that the white claw was better because they, they were both very similar they were both spiked waters with uh, alcohol in them and they said it was very close too but they said that they preferred White Claw by a little bit. These are these are all bad for a water. Because they taste sugary. They taste like, like alcohol a little bit. But for an alcoholic drink, these are actually pretty good. Like, gotta be honest. It, my, my rule is sort of... I drink... Um, like, special occasions... Or when I can get it for free. Like on my trip around the world, you know, I, I flew business class for a lot of those flights. And they kept offering me free drinks. 
And I kept, normally I don't drink that much, but I kept saying yes for those free drinks because uh, they're free. I don't want to, you know, let them go to waste. Or if I'm at a party, there's a case of beer or, you know, alcohol or whatever. Sometimes I'll have some, but I very, very rarely go to a beer store or a wine store. So some of you guys, most of you watching this probably don't go to a wine or beer store at all. Most of you guys probably just have beer and wine at your grocery stores. I'm in Pennsylvania. They have really weird, really weird alcohol laws in Pennsylvania. We have like a specific store for wine, a specific store for beer, and we just don't have it in the grocery stores. Or it's like, I think they changed the law a little bit. So some grocery stores do, but they have to have like a separate license and a separate register and a separate entrance to that part of the building. So it's, so it's essentially a separate store, but not really. Yeah, it's just Pennsylvania laws are kind of weird. But actually, I read that um, our like DUI deaths are slightly lower in Pennsylvania, and they think it's because of our weird laws. Like, I guess people just, in general, drink less because it's less convenient, because they have to make an extra stop. You know, at first glance, it seems like bad that we have all these weird laws, but if it's saving lives, maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, this is a lot to drink. Okay. Black cherry. I guess I don't have to finish these. Oh, man. I don't feel good. Yeah, I think I'm not going to finish all these. This is way too much. These are like... These are like more than halfway gone. My stomach kind of hurts and... I think I'm just going to finish. I'll finish this one. I, my teeth feel like... Super sugary. You know, my first thought was like, why are you even calling this a water if it has 100 calories? But then... I guess there's no way for them to avoid that. I feel like I'm gonna throw up now. Probably just need to burp though. <clears throat> okay, I feel better. So, why would they put calories in this and call it a water? But I think it's kind of unavoidable just because of the brewing process. I think you have to create alcohol from like hops or sugar or something. So I think you have to have some kind of calories like in an alcohol, I think it's just unavoidable. It's not possible to have alcohol without calories, I think. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Like, does rubbing alcohol have calories in it? I don't know. You shouldn't... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm feeling really warm. I turned off my air conditioner. Maybe that's why I'm warm. Or maybe it's the alcohol. I'm, like, sweating. And my girlfriend had a birthday party a couple months ago. I drank there. Got kind of a little bit drunk. My 21st birthday, I went out with my... My brother and sister to celebrate... Got really drunk there. Um, Cause they, it was my twenty first birthday, so they wanted me to drink twenty one, either beers or shots, and they had like a magic marker, and they would make a, make a little line on my arm until I reached twenty one. I think I reached like, maybe nineteen, drinks, in that night. Then we were at like a restaurant, I think. I just, you know, threw up all over this restaurant table, and they kicked us out, and then we stopped at 19. I didn't do any more after that. So. I've never passed out from drinking. I've never lost my memory. Oh, you know, there's another thing that happens when I drink a lot? Like, I start seeing in, like, slow motion. Like, you know, like, if, if a camera has a very f slow frame rate... If it's like five frames a second and like stuff like jumps like just with my vision i don't know if that's normal or if that's just me but, um yeah, that's what happens when i get drunk and uh like i said i've never lost my memory i've never had somebody say like whoa i can't believe you did this last night because usually when i drink a lot i still remember everything that happens but um but i do have a habit of like throwing up when I drink a lot, I guess. It's happened like three times. Um, 
you know, when I was in Chile, when, when I was in college, I went to Chile for a couple of weeks, and we were there for New Year's, and um, we paid to get into this one area, we were in Valparaiso, Chile, we paid to get to this one area um, near the ocean, so it was like this one big pier, and you pay to get on the pier, and then for New Year's, they have fireworks, and you can just drink as much as you want. You just get, like, a wristband or something like that, and you just show it to the bartender to get as many drinks as you want. So I drank way too much that night, and eventually got separated from my group in Chile, and um, tried taking the bus back to our apartment we were staying at. You know, we are in Chile. Everyone there speaks Spanish. I don't know any Spanish. Very little Spanish. I know how to say, like... Trace cerveza, por favor, or adios, amigos, or, um, you know, very, very little Spanish. On the bus, I remember throwing up <laughs> a lot and getting kicked off the bus, just like I got kicked out of that restaurant on my birthday. I guess I got on another bus, because somehow I made it back to the apartment, but I drank way too much that night. Yeah. It's almost 11 p.m. I have to get up. At like 9 a.m. I wonder if I'll get a better night's sleep because I'm drinking or a worse night's sleep. So wouldn't I probably fall asleep faster after I make this video? Um, then maybe I'll have a headache tomorrow though. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Most of you watching this are probably like, oh, he had three beers. Who cares? I can actually, I'm starting to feel it though. Like, I'm like, I really am like a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. This is done. I do like the colored lids. And, um, I am not going to finish this. Ruby Raspberry. I can feel it's like about, about halfway. I think the two favorites are the black cherry and the mango. <laughs> Excuse me again. The last place ones are the... Excuse me. Raspberry and grapefruit. I think just the fact that I didn't finish this kind of shows like a sign that's not a great one. <sighs> These two, it's like a tie. Um, I'm going to say that the ma I like the mango more. I I'm probably biased because I don't want to go back to the store to buy a, bla to buy a black cherry. Um... But I'm going to say them. I like the mango more. So this is moving on to round two. Um, congratulations, mango. But it's going to be eliminated in round two. We all know that. It doesn't even matter. Um, Alright, that's it. I need to go to the bathroom. So, thanks for watching, everyone.